there, Helena here from Ritz Creative Team. This time I'm here to show you how to tie dye with Ritz Dye More for Synthetics. If your garment is more than 35% polyester, nylon, acrylic, or acetate, this is the technique for you. Make sure to check the care tag for the fiber content. Because of the complexity of dyeing synthetics, you have to use the stovetop method to maintain an almost boiling temperature. So with that in mind, let's get started. You'll need a pot, measuring cup, tongs, rubber gloves, rubber bands, dish soap, and of course your favorite dye more for synthetics color. You can use it straight out of the bottle or check out our formulas on our website where you can create over a thousand additional shades. If you're dyeing a blend that contains cotton, linen, rayon, or ramy, we also recommend our Color Stay Dye Fixative to enhance the color and reduce bleeding. As a general guideline, one bottle of Rit Dye More will dye up to two pounds of dry fabric, but if you're dyeing 100% polyester or trying to achieve a bolder color, double the dye quantity. If you're unsure, always do a swatch test. Before dyeing, pre-wash your item in warm, soapy water. This helps to remove anything that may interfere with dye absorption. Now it's time to put the tie and tie dye. The most popular techniques are swirl and scrunch, but we have tons of tutorials on our website. For the swirl, decide where to place the center and slowly twist into a spiral. Wrap with rubber bands to hold the spiral together. For scrunch, simply bunch up sections of the fabric and secure with rubber bands. Keep in mind that the tighter you tie it, the more white space you'll see in the final result. Now it's time to move on to dyeing. Fill your pot with enough water to fully submerge your bound item. Add one teaspoon of dish soap to promote level dyeing and heat water to just below boiling, around 200 degrees Fahrenheit. When water begins to simmer, add your well-shaken dye more and give it a good stir. We'll be using tropical teal and sapphire blue. Before dyeing your bound item, dampen it, and then you're ready to add it into the dye bath. Keep the temperature at a low simmer and be sure to stir slowly and continuously. When the desired color is achieved, remove it from the dye bath. Remember, it'll look darker when wet and will dry lighter. We'll set this aside for now. For tie dyeing with two colors, simply create a second dye bath and dip just a portion of your bound fabric like so. Dipping just half of the spiral into the dye bath will create one giant spiral. Dip the other half into the second dye bath and you'll get the classic tie dye look. Once you're satisfied with the color saturation, rinse your bound fabric in warm water and then gradually cool water until rinse water runs clear. If you're dyeing a blend that contains cotton, linen, rayon, or ramy, visit the link below to learn how to use Rit Color Stay Dye Fixative to maximize color retention. Carefully remove the rubber bands and unfold the fabric to reveal your design. Wash it in warm water with a mild detergent, rinse, and dry. Feel free to get creative with colors, materials, and different placements. And make sure to tag us so we can see what you create. For more tips and techniques, visit RitDye.com.